you can almost radically change your your course of action. And, and you said that this happened to you, right? That you some, eventually moved on from this radio type. Kind of what led you to that change? Yeah, yeah. So I guess um, really, um, I I wrote my book. I guess I, was, I finished my book. Um, well, I guess mid to, mid twenty eighteen or so. Um, Bonu the search, uh, Bonu uh, strategy for self liberation, and. Um, I suppose that that was about the time I was wrapping up LUA Radio. I mean, I'd I'd, I'd already been doing the Vonu podcast, and most everything we talked about on LUA um, could have been worked into Vonu. So I did, I didn't see a point in continuing both of them. And LUA Publications kind of naturally, um, kind of uh, naturally started out of that. And um, I guess it was it was right around that time, like there was it was just I don't know changes in the air or something. I I had just started a, a new job as a, an electrician apprenticeship or electrician apprentice. And I was, uh, you know, gonna do that. You know, it was good paying, best paying job I ever had was, was, you know, trade. And, uh, you know, it wasn't, uh, wasn't a bad job. I, I enjoyed it. You know, there's you know, lots of learning, lots of opportunity. But after about six months or so, like, I just stopped going in. Like, I, I just, I, I wasn't feeling it anymore. I, 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 I guess I, I made a decision to move in, move to uh, Austin, Texas, uh, move in with my co-host of the Vonnie podcast at that time, Kyler Reardon. And, uh, just made us made a quick random, I guess, move to Austin, Texas. Never been to Austin before. Just kind of randomly felt like I was called to do it. I guess that's that's the best way that I could that I can explain it. You know, looking back on it, um, but I ended up in Austin. Was there for for a couple few months, and um, they they were renting an apartment, um, and the lease was coming up um, near the end. The lease was coming up, and I had a pretty quick. I had another pretty quick change in living situation that I had to make, and it just so happened that uh, my buddy Jason Henza was coming down. Uh, from Chicago to, uh, um, you know, driving down to Acapulco, Mexico. And, uh, I, uh, he, you know, he said, you know, I can come, come right by there, pick you up. We go to Acapulco and, um, you can come stay out there as long as you want to with me. And I was like, uh, so I, 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 uh, you know, made another crazy move. Um, never been to Acapulco, um, before either. Obviously never driven through there. Been to Mexico a couple of times, like tourist spots for, for, you know, vacations, but never, never road trip through Mexico. So. Um, yeah, I, uh, hopped in the car with him and we road tripped Acapulco. I stayed there from, um, uh, I guess November to December, um, 2018, was it? 2018? Yeah, it's years all run together now, really. But yeah, it was at end of 2018, stayed there, uh, until, uh, until Christmas and then came back to, I was going to come back for the holidays to see my family and, um, never, never got back to, to Mexico. But, um, yeah, I, I ended up, uh, ended up back, uh, coming back to, the homestead where I am now had no plans to, to start what I, I'm, I'm start, start what I have going on here now. But, um, it was just like with, I guess within the span of maybe like six months, um, it was, uh, uh it was a pretty nomadic adventure. Um, a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of spontaneity. Um, no real plan or, or, or vision was just kind of going, like going with it and seeing, seeing where, where things ended up. And, um, like I guess I ended up back here at the homestead and, um, Couple, by that time, a couple, uh, some, some some folks in my network had started this, uh, I guess this uh, travel, um, you know, uh, this uh, travel job, and uh, you know they they uh, they they stop by the property every once in a while, and it kind of naturally coalesced into um, a spot for some for some of my nomadic people to to stop by and camp and, and all that, and uh, yeah, last year uh, that that's I guess the um, the the worldwide nonsense kicked off, and oh no, I got a little panicked. I I eat only meat essentially. And, um, when, uh, there were fears of, uh, meat running out at the grocery store, which I was dependent upon then, which is not a good thing, which is why I'm doing what I'm doing now. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that, that fear kind of hit me. And, uh, I went and got some lambs and some goats and, uh, here we are today. So, um, yeah, it wasn't, uh, it certainly wasn't a smooth, um, a smooth, well-planned, well-executed, um, <laughs> you know, plan by, by any means, but, um, you know, I think this is kind of the way that it, that it, that it had to happen. Um, I mean, it's kind of well, it's the way that it did happen, but um, I don't know. Um, it wasn't wasn't easy, and uh, you know, still figuring things out. I, I've obviously like before, and I've in in this life, like I've I've never done anything with like farming or livestock or anything like that. So I've I'm just learning everything as I'm going, and uh, you know, it's hopefully it pans out. It's going well so far. So that's kind of what I'm what I'm banking on to continue. <laughs> 